Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, up touch to the latest iOS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. Inside your settings, you're going to see this. Now, the first option will see your name. In this case, my name will be tech design, but you guys will see yours. Just make sure you do a backup on iCloud. That's just in case. If you don't have more space, just do it on your computer. Also, if you have any problems with this update or any update, just hook it up to your computer and do it from there. On PC, for example, you would use iTunes and on Mac, right there, you guys are going to find finder which uh, you can use in order to update or fix any issues plus do a backup of your iphone ipad or touch anyways go right into general under general you guys are going to see the second option where it says software update and from here we should see this popping up if you guys don't see this again you could do it through your computer or just restart your phone you should be good to go if you're using hotspot that sometimes doesn't work and that's why you have glitches so just use wi-fi i know it should work anyways but it doesn't always. Anyways, right now we're just gonna tap on download and install. It's gonna ask you for a passcode if you have one. Then click on agree, agree again. If you disagree, it's not gonna work by the way. You can choose whichever one, it doesn't matter, it's gonna work regardless. I'm gonna choose the first option. And then from here, it's just gonna download. So during the download process, it doesn't matter if your phone or iPad turns off. No, no big deal. You just have to re-download the update and then you're done. This update's really, really small. You can actually see more information about it right here if you visit the website, but we're not gonna do that. It's a really small update. And I always recommend to go for updates after just a little bit. So don't do it right the day when they come out. I would always do them two weeks or even a month later than when it came out. Then other things that were glitching that update will be fixed by then, hopefully. Now remember that you do need 50% of your battery. However, if you have even more than that, I would still hook it up to some electricity. That way, nothing bad will ever happen. And what I mean by that is that if your battery dies, although it might be 70%, then you are gonna have to factory restore, which I told you to make that backup just in case that happens. Now sometimes you see this up here where it says preparing update. That can take forever. Just let it be. As long as your phone or iPad's hooked up some electricity, that should do just fine. Or maybe just hook it up at nighttime and then it's just gonna install it. So after a few minutes, you should see this moving. So you should see this blue bar just moving along and that means it's actually working. But just wait for a few minutes. Just after a little bit, we should see this install now. So we can just tap on install now. You're gonna see verifying update, black screen, Apple logo and a loading bar. At first, you're gonna see an Apple logo, a loading bar. Once the update's done, you're just gonna go back to your home screen. You should see a message like so, saying that your software's up, all up to date. Just scroll up, put in your passcode if you have one, and you are all set. You can go into your settings, just make sure everything's okay. I'm gonna go into general, software update, and there we go. That's about it when it comes to this update. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.